Hi everyone, I'm Cedrica from Grade 7. Today I'm going to be talking about animals. So when I say the word animal, what comes to your mind? It can be a dangerous creature or a cute little pet. But along with all these images and thoughts that come to my brain, one of the most critical thoughts is the word beast. Normally when people are describing animals or they're talking about them, they associate them with the word beast or mindless beast. But many people, like what many people don't realize is humans and animals are similar in a variety of ways, many ways. And so even we can be called beasts sometimes, can't we? Like a rude human can be called a beast or someone who acts very harshly is a beast. But people don't do that normally because humans have feelings, unlike animals, that's what they think. But no, even animals have feelings or emotions. These emotions or feelings can be... They can, they're not shown properly because they're not able to talk to us. Of course, they have their own language, but we're not able to understand it. But if you watch closely, observe their behaviors, you can understand. Like, for example, horses. Like, horses, they like to run around in fields or fight with each other. What many people think is when horses are happy, they do this. Like, they run around and things. And then when horses don't do, like, adult horses, they don't run around much. They think that horses are sad, but this is wrong. Horses which are happy don't run around. The ha like running around is just a way for them to re relieve their tension, for them to act like they're happy. And if they're not running around, it means they are happy. So you can misinterpret the way that animals feel because we don't know. So we have to try to understand them more closely. Even humans are similar to animals. For example, if someone intrudes into your house, your dog, it starts barking immediately. Humans normally get mad at their animals for doing this and they start scolding them or beating them. But if someone does come to your house, you obviously get protective. Even humans have the same reaction. If someone pounces on you, like a, if you, like, you go near a tiger and provoke it, it'll attack. And we start getting scared of it and we just blame the tiger and we run away. But even if you're a human, if someone comes and provokes you, what else do you do? You attack, right? So in this way, animals and humans are very similar to each other. More similar than we actually realize. And we must not underestimate animals or think them as an inferior species and think that we are superior. No, we all are living beings and we all have a right to live in this world. Thank you.